Teenagers stressing out, breaking down at every corner. It's like something's in the air, some kind of outbreak. <laughs> Wait, it's just university application season. I've reached that point in my life where I'm standing on the brim of making a very important, life-altering decision. Probably the first big decision one makes as a young adult. I mean... That's a lot of bloody pressure. So I was pretty set on wanting to go back to New Zealand to study. I mean, mostly because I was lazy and didn't need to put in any effort with the application. I'm talking no SATs, no essays, no personal statements. It was all relatively easy. And also, I wouldn't have had to pay tens of thousands of dollars then spend half my life returning student loans given the domestic student benefits I'd have in New Zealand. And of course, my heart always wanted to go back home. So university in Auckland was a clear winner for me. And because of this, I didn't even bother researching or considering any other options. So when this random opportunity to study in Qatar popped up, I was the least bit interested. One, because who the hell goes to Qatar? It's a stopover, not a destination. It's like an irrelevant knockoff of Dubai. And two, because I was just really biased about studying back home. And then we arrived to Doha, and boy was I wrong. It turns out that Qatar is actually the richest country in the world. They have so much money, it's like they don't even know how to spend it. You see these colorful poles here? Yeah. Each one costs about like a million or so dollars. What they do though is invest a lot into education, culture, and sports. So this strange box-shaped building here is Qatar Foundation. That empty space up there, that's where we're going. From up here, you get a good view of the whole education city. Basically, Education City is this place made for students, where all the unis are located. All the different universities are basically together in one place, so it's kind of like one big university. The facilities which they've made for students are insane. I mean, just look at the student accommodation. It's a student center for students to just wind down. Like gyms, places to eat, pools, this little garden thing. It's even a bowling alley and an arcade. They've invested a lot into their education and I mean, it shows. I have never seen any education institution spoil students this much. Look at this library. Qatar National Library was by far a highlight for me. This place actually makes me want to study. There are millions of books and a really advanced way of finding any information that you require. And then this is Northwestern University. It's one of the largest and most advanced campuses for media and communication in the whole world. Basically, media is the field that I intend to pursue and I was blown away. I didn't really get to film much while I was inside and being toured, but here are just some photos off the internet so you get the idea. The campus was incredible. I loved the place. They have literally the best equipment, a great vision and way of doing things. Ooh, and look at this little complimentary thing they gave me this is so cool it's such a film nerd thing like look it's like a coffee mug like one of those uh takeaway coffee mugs and it's like a camera lens like <laughs> it's so dope they just left like no reason for me to not want to go here so yeah qatar is extremely visionary and works towards the future in the present the whole place just gave me like super futuristic feels from like, I don't know, the Divergent movies. Qatar is extremely modern and technologically advanced. I'm telling you, whilst we're all here in 2019, they're already in 2029. Everything is so high end and top of the line. You can just see the quality in like everything. Like, seriously, check out this mosque. I thought it was a spaceship or something from the outside. Personally, I found the modern design so beautiful because it goes against the traditional conventional image that we have of a mosque. It's like a nice way of saying, hey, religion isn't just for the past, you know? Oh, and because of the upcoming World Cup in 2022, there's like stadiums everywhere. Uh, not that though. That's just a parking lot. This 
is the stadium. There's still a lot of construction going around everywhere, but at the rate that everything's moving at, I can only imagine how much guitar's gonna be thriving when everything's done. This is a special airport just for the royal family. And then this is a peasant airport. And once again, a short trip had come to an end. And while we're here, let me show you this iconic multi-million dollar yellow bear, which everyone takes photos of when they're traveling. Apparently the King of Qatar gifted it to his daughter, which is nice, but like, it's um a little sad looking. Here's my brother throwing a tantrum because he wasn't allowed to sit in the McLaren on display. He kept this up for a good 10 minutes, until he found a car of his own. In conclusion, I was so wrong about Qatar. Up until a couple of weeks ago, Qatar wasn't even a thought in my head. And now, I'm planning to apply and study there. After my visit, not only did my university expectations exceed, but also my expectations from the whole country. Turns out, Qatar's not an irrelevant desert. Basically, what I'm trying to say is don't be like me and close your doors early on. Evaluate all your options because even when you think you have the best option in mind, there could be a lot better in store for you. You never really know how things are going to go. So stay neutral, try your best, and <laughs> don't think there's an easy way out.